Hi, so my nephew's painting has been drying for some time. Some people will let you know that it's okay to varnish your painting two weeks after it's dry. So it's been two weeks and he's completely dry. Um, but if you wait more than two weeks, the best uh, thing to do then is to wait till it's been dry for six months and then go from there and varnish your painting. So it has been two weeks. It's now November the 6th and it's a little cold here in Central Texas. So what I'm doing is I'm varnishing him in the garage. If not, I would have taken the painting outside and varnished it just because of the fumes. And since I am going to be using this Blair varnish mat, and uh, it's, e it's easier for me to use than to be using the, um, the one that you paint on. You're welcome to do that, uh, but I'm going to do this one because I simply like the effect that I get afterwards. So what we're going to go ahead and do is shake it very well. We're going to go ahead and varnish him. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. I'm a good 12 inches to um, actually more uh, I'm about 36 inches away from him and read your directions in this the direction it um, asks me to be at least 8 to 10 inches away from the painting and I'm more than that um, actually about like I said 36 inches but I was um, reaching forward so I was probably about 20 inches away from him and the colors just seem to pop out so I'm going to do that I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back and do another layer and this time the layer instead of going across what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and do another varnish and uh, that'll be it I apply a couple layers and we're good to go. All right, um, our painting has dry. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and rub my hands. Uh, let me show you a better way. It's completely dry from the first varnish. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add the second varnish over it. And this time we're gonna go in a vertical direction. Remember to always shake your can well. And I'm about to start varnishing the painting. Remember, always read your directions. And here we go. You can start seeing the colors are starting to look a little more vibrant than before. They don't look as flat. So it's almost like they get the sweat effect. The same effect they did as when you were applying them, where they're nice and rich in color. And that's pretty much it. That's my second layer of varnishing. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what it now looks like. And I'm going to show you a little close-up of the painting. And as you can see, we're in my garage. It's cold here in Central Texas. This is a painting. I've also entered it in another contest in um, Houston, Texas. So we'll see what happens there. there you go and that's what the painting looks like you're going to be able to see my little cat Poochie make a cameo appearance he loves to come into the garage whenever we open the door so this is what 
the painting now looks like. You can see the colors. To me, it seems like they pop up a little bit more. And I want to thank you all for watching.